We are out here at Slab City and it's laundry time. Take a look at my washing machine. So this is the Costway washing machine, model EP23103. Uh, I got this from Amazon. You can see the link in the description below, but this was about $110 if I remember correctly. And it's a like kind of RV washing machine. Um, you put your dirty clothes in here, fill it with water, fill it with soap, and then you set the timer. Then when that's done, you put it in here, which is the spin basin. This will spin the shit out of your clothes. And then you flip it back into the wash basin for just water, rinse, fabric softener, and then back into the spin cycle. It's very easy. Um, it's a little bit manual and there's no dryer, but when you're out on the road, you got plenty of time. So this is uh, the solution I chose for doing laundry. I cannot stand going to laundry mats. I chose to get my own laundry machine and put it in the step van. But this is the first time I'm gonna be using it and we're gonna be doing a load of clothes in it right now. Off grid. We're actually gonna use a generator though, not solar power, because it's overcast today. We just threw some biodegradable soap in there and uh, now we're gonna be adding the water. It takes about three gallons for the wash and three gallons for the rinse. Yeah, it's real wet like. Yeah, it does need more. We're getting all the water containers to fill this with. There's another gallon to go in there. It does kind of take a lot of water. That's not even a gallon, man. That was less than a gallon. That was less than a gallon. That was weak. That was a splash. give you an idea of what the back of the machine looks like. We got it all filled up. We're going to close the lid and we're going to set this. Uh, it might need more water. I think it needs more water. So we're going to add a little bit more water because it should be kind of floating in there. Gotcha. So. Dude, that's, that's like covered. That's actually pretty good, man. Yeah. Good. These are the controls up here. I set the timer for the wash basin. This is the way you drain it. And then this is the way you spin it. Pretty simple. So now the, the wash cycle is done. We're gonna flip this knob over here to drain. And we're gonna drain this into this bucket over here. So go ahead and flip the, flip the drain. We're just going to drain this into the bucket so we can go toss it farther away. Hmm, it's going to need to be lower. Now Lalo is just flipping the clothes over into the uh, rinse or the uh, spin cycle, so he's flipping all the clothes over. Hope you don't mind being in my uh, review video. Um, and I've heard people say that you can't really do it all at once, so you may have to put some in there, uh -huh. spin it, and then do the second one. So we're just going to turn the dial and get it spinning. There it goes. We're spinning. They say it takes a little while for it to like level out. And it will. So maybe it will like, kind of, ch oh, it has an auto off thing. They say it was kind of rough at first. Yeah, let's take a little, just a little bit of stuff out. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that should be fine. Here we 
Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was just a little overloaded. Oh yeah, look at that. It's humming. You can't really see, but yeah, it does spin very fast. Oh, it turns off. Yeah, it kills off as soon as you, it turns off as soon as you open the lid. But. Yeah, one thing that people like about this is that it really spins the clothes hard and it gets most of the moisture out. Let's see what it does on three minutes. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. Yeah. So, uh, I've taken out the spun laundry and I'm just putting the rest of the load into the spin cycle to finish it up. Okay, so all the spinning is done for the first wash cycle. Now we're gonna put everything back into the wash basin for a rinse cycle. Rinse cycle. I think this was just too big of a load. We should probably do like half the size. Yeah. Yeah, I, we went with a big load. We probably should have done a lot less, but um, this is, feel how dry this stuff comes out. Did you dry out the other stuff? or? It's all dry, yeah. I, oh, you, you, I, you I did all it? of it, yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. But um, yeah, it comes out pretty dry. Like that, hanging up, that'll take like oh. half an hour out here. You yeah, know? yeah. Do you have papers? This is a big load, so we're adding actually about five gallons of water. We're going to do smaller loads from now on because this is a little bit much for this machine. It's a good amount of clothes, though. Close the lid, set the timer, and off we go. All right, so we're done with the rinsing, and we just gotta hang these guys up. They're, they come out very dry. I mean, it, it's really a dry um, clothes that you end up with and we're just hanging them up so here we go this is uh some of the clothes we've already pulled out of that load you have to spin it you have to spin this in a couple different um batches because this holds way more than the spinner so the amount of clothes that was in there we spun three separate batches and hung them up up here and these will be dry in no time it is so arid out here um you know hang those up for a few hours they're totally good I need to shoot a little ending to the video that I was making about this washing machine. Right at the end of the day, after about five loads of laundry, it kind of crapped out for a little bit. The spin cycle quit spinning. So, <clears throat> I just had the feeling like it was not a big deal and that I just had to like give it some time and come back to it. And that's exactly right. I, I let it sit aside and now it works again. So. I don't know if it just kind of got overloaded because I did so much laundry, but I was happy with its performance. I was a little bummed about it not working at the end of the day, but it does work again now. So I, I think I may have just overloaded it and used it a little too much, but um, I like it. I think it's a good unit. It's a little bit big, but I was able to wash a lot of clothes for very, very little money. And I think it's going to work well in my rig. So that's it. Update. Not bad, kind of okay. Did a good job on clothes. So for now, here it goes. The Costway washing machine back underneath the sink where it lives in the bread truck. Pull back my curtain, that's where it goes. Bam, all gone. Dream it.